Whoa. My neighbor gave me some blackberry plants from his yard where a bird dropped off a plant in his yard and now he's got a massive pile of blackberries, also known as black raspberries. I want to show you. I pick that and eat it. <laughs> Free calories from the sun. Didn't have to go to a grocery store. Oh, it tastes so much better. Okay, here we got some of my gooseberries. And they're finally turning color. See, there's a bit of red in there, which means they are ready to eat. Oh, mmm, mmm, mmm. Here's the one I just picked. Mm, free calories. Didn't have to pay a penny for that. Why I had to pay for the plant. You also get wild gooseberries. They have spiky uh, fruit, but I suppose you can tame them. I'll show you what, what else I got going on. So we got some currants. Red currants. Uh, keep forgetting what that's called. Uh, raspberries. My pumpkins came in. <laughs> Here we got some figs. You can grow figs in Canada. You just have to bring them in during the winter. And they're one of the few trees that doesn't die when it doesn't get sunlight in the winter. That's why you can bring them into your garage or your basement. There's another raspberry. Uh, red currant. More red currant. Another blackberry bush. More red currant. All things that grow in Canada. There's a gooseberry they planted this year. I don't think there's any fruit on this guy because they don't necessarily come up the first year. Uh, goji berry, goji berry, also a goji berry, planted at the same two time as these two. This guy here and this guy here were planted at the same time as this one. I think this is an Olympia goji berry. I think that's what that was called. Sure looks Olymp Olympia compared to the other ones question is, does it produce as much fruit? There's the other gooseberry I planted this year from Walmart. And there is another blackberry or raspberry, which I'm excited about. And over here we got uh, another gooseberry. Let's see what we can find. There's some fruit back there. Now these probably aren't ripe yet, but I'm going to eat them anyway. Oh, well. <laughs> and I've sectioned off this half just to keep the birds away from them so that when they become ripe I can save the seeds from my own plant and plant more of them. Don't have to go to Walmart anymore. Uh, what the heck is that called? Rhubarb. That's what that is. And we got, uh, I think that's peonies. They're not blooming. We got lilies. Behold the lily of the field. For neither sows nor reaps, yet Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Aren't these beautiful? I think that's more beautiful than a king. And we got cherry bush. You can get cherries that grow as bushes. This one's having a little bit of trouble. What else we got? Somebody traded me for some concrete pots that I made for these three. One, two, three uh, lilies. So hopefully those come up, day lilies. Here's another one that we didn't have to plant. Somebody else planted this one and it showed up every year, it comes back. More lilies, these are more day lilies. And here we have a little ornamental cedary, shrubby thing. And I gave this one to my mom. I was supposed to come up with big yellow flowers every spring. <laughs> yeah, that's the tour. I'm going to go show you the pots that I'm making. There's the lilies. There's... Oh, these are some more lilies, and these are the seed pods. And I am going to collect seeds when 
those are done in the fall. And then I'm going to plant them and see what I get. And when you plant lilies, the genetics are different than the parent. You might end up with something that no one's ever seen before. And there's my pots. And the big revelation is coming how I make these pots. Oh, there's the mold. I got, I got lazy and stopped making them and just started using the, the half of the, uh, uh, what do you call them? Big water bottles that we get at uh, the grocery store for our water. Just cut them in half, put some soil in them. What have we got planted here? We've got spinach. Hopefully I get a nice crop of spinach, and the good thing about this is I can move them wherever I want. And if the light isn't good enough, then I can move them where they're happier. If they want more light, I can move them somewhere with more light. If they want shade, I can leave them in the shade. Here's my cherry tree. Isn't she beautiful? I think I found a cherry on the ground. Still not producing any fruit. I don't know what I have to do to get these going. There's an apple tree. There's the apple tree that was here when we moved in. And there, on the ground, are apples. Oh. It's actually pretty sweet. Kind of tart. It's not going to kill you people. And there's, um, oh god, I forget, husk, husk, no, there's husk, husker berries, husky, I can't remember what they're called. They got big blue berries on them, though. They're just growing in the dirt. <laughs> kind of like people. We grow up through the dirt, and then we become something. There's a pear tree. Unfortunately, it didn't handle the cold very well. And look at how it's situated. I didn't plant it straight enough. It only seemed a little bit off when I planted it, and then it came up kind of cro crooked. <laughs> there's a tangled garden, eh? Some more lilies in the back, and there's some irises that my mom planted. If you work as a team, you don't have to plant everything by yourself. <laughs> oh, there's a columbine. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? Beautiful. And there's another columbine. More things you can plant from seed. Oh, there's another lily. Look at that. Okay. And I think I've said enough. So, thank you for joining me in my garden. <laughs>